Aloha everyone, this is Karina from Surfing Through Second and today I am putting together a little video tutorial on how to um, download and edit one of my planners. I've had a lot of questions about how to set it up, that the fonts might not be working for some people. So um, I'm just going to go through the process and show you how I set up a planner um, each time that I make one. So basically once you purchase it, you just download it onto your computer. So click the download button and it will be in a zip file. So make sure that you just open up that zip file and um, it will be available to you. So once that's downloaded on your computer, you just find that file and it will open up um, a folder and you'll have two files, a PDF file and a PowerPoint file. So you want to open up the PowerPoint file if you're going to edit it. If you don't want to edit it, then you can just print what you would like from the PDF. So when it opens, you're going to have a lot of choices. You have all of the different covers and um, the pages that you plan to use yourself. So basically what I do is I always make another copy. So I go to File and let me move this out of the way. File and Save As. And I make a new planner. So I just, I might, I'm going to rename it. So that I've made another copy. So the original will stay the same and then it will just change the name and have a second copy for you just in case you make a mistake and you want to start over. Even if you do make an, a mistake you can easily download it again. So now it says my planner and it's ready to go. So I just need to choose a cover that I want and maybe I want this first one. So what I'll do is I'll click on the others and I can either right click and delete the slide or I can just click the delete button on my screen. So I can delete everything that I don't want. And then I'll go through and I'll look at the pages that I do want to keep. If I want to type in the names of the kids in my class, then I would just add a text box. And since this is my original file, when you get it, it will you'll easily be able to add that in. So you could just type in what you'd like or maybe you have a picture that you want to put in there whatever you want to add in you can by just adding a text box and some of the fonts might change so you just need to decide what you want to change your font to and the font that I use on each of the the planners is different and I usually tell you what the font is in the beginning or in the instructions so I can easily just add that and keep typing what I want for each page so if I add that in then I might go to my daily schedule if I want to just type it in or if I want to write it in I can choose to do that and I'll go to each page that I want if I don't need a page again I don't need a sub plan page I can just delete that slide so as I go through I'll pick and choose what I want I will add in as I need usually these are a little harder to type in um, making an editable file is is difficult and it's hard to just be able to click and type you, you usually have to add a text box. If, it, if you click and type, it tends to change. If I were just to start typing, you can see the lines go out. That's why I make it um, so that you can just type right over it. So as I go through, I might go to first quarter and I want to add some things on. And I might want to add the dates. So here again, I can just add a text box and add the dates where I would like them to go. Then when you get to the planner pages you have some different choices. So you just need to go through and decide which one best suits your needs. And what I do is I add a text box here and I just type in the dates that I want. 
and then you can easily change or keep the font, whatever it is you're using for each one. So if I've got the date in there, I can make it bigger, whatever I want to use. So if I like this page, all I need to do then is to get rid of the other planner pages. If I don't want this one, again, I can just delete those. All the ones I want, I don't want, just get rid of them. Oh, I can also duplicate, but that's not what I wanted. Just delete. So I've chosen this first one. And then for this, the side page, I would do the same. Delete the ones I don't want and use the one that I do want. So now I just have these two pages that I want to use. And then I could, if I click on this and I click on copy, I can paste the date onto the other side so it'll match up. And then what I can do is I take these two and I can copy this page and paste it again. So for the whole quarter, I can change however many pages you need for your quarter. I can just change and add the dates, whatever it may be. And to do that for both of them, if I wanted to keep copying, I could click on both. And I, I'm on a Mac, so what I do is I click on here and on here and I press Command at the same time. And then I copy it and I can paste them both and continue for however many pages I need for the year. And for each one I have, in this particular planner, I have different styles for each quarter. And you can choose to do the same style the whole thing. So again, you'd have to eliminate any pages you don't want, just delete them out. So that would be all the way through the file. And then you would go to your grade book. Again, I wish that I could just easily have this where you could click on there and type it in, but when I do, it changes the format, and a lot of people complained that the format changed and they had to reformat it. So it's just easier to take a text box and type on top of what you need. It just um, makes it so much easier, because if I type into here, then I it will change the whole um, format of it. It's and it's a pain to go back. You'd have to start over again. So I just had too many complaints about that that I can't change that for you. I wish I could. So as it goes through, you can, again, choose what you want. If you don't do dibbles or math fluency, just delete everything. So once I've gone through and I decided what I want, from the beginning, I make sure that my pages are going to match up. My cover, I print by itself. I just print the cover and I don't put anything on the back cover. The rest of my pages, I match up. I make sure I know what I want on the front and on the back. So that when I print, it will match up back and forth. But what I do, once I've saved it, I go up to File and I push Save As. And I save it as a PDF file. So once it saves as a PDF, you could easily copy it onto um, the thumbprint, or excuse me, <laughs> uh, I don't even know what they're called, the little uh, drive, is that what it's called? The thumbprint drive. I, I, hmm. I, I save everything that I have on uh, Google Drive. So um, basically you can, you can save that, and if you wanted to get it printed somewhere else and take it into an Office Max or uh, a printing place, then you'll have it on the drive and then you can show them what you want and tell them what to do. So basically, when I print mine out, it's ready to go in my PDF file. 
I have file and print. And you can see, I explained this um, as well in a blog post, but you can see that the edges are not how I want them to be. It looks like it's cutting it off. So I do want it two-sided, but I'm going to click here on paper size. And as I go down, it's, I click U.S. borderless. And I don't know that all printers have that, but that mine does. So I can see now it's going to print the whole thing. And then I'll print, it'll, I make sure it's matched up, and then it's going to print back two-sided for all of those things. And that's basically it, putting it together. Um, the rest, I laminate the front cover, and I laminate the back cover, and I trim off the edges. And then I take it in to Office Max, and they bind it for me for $3. And that is it. I hope that is helpful um, in getting you to set up your planner. If you have any other questions, feel free to contact me. Thank you.